Please be seated. President, graduands, and honoured guests, it is my great pleasure to welcome you to Commemoration Day 2021. And a warm welcome also to those family and friends who are joining us remotely. We meet today to recognise the outstanding achievements of undergraduate students at Imperial College. Ultimately, our time at Imperial is measured and recognised through our academic accomplishments. However, today is about so much more than that. Today we recognise as well sporting triumphs, artistic and musical excellence, diversity of culture, diversity of ideas, the willingness to volunteer our time for the benefit of others, and most of all, a continued commitment to excellence and to the betterment of the world around us. As Imperial College graduates, we are well positioned to tackle some of the great challenges facing the world today. In fact, you all have an enormous potential to contribute towards the advancement of humanity as a whole. This potential comes with a burden, a burden of expectation, but we are fortunate not to want for sources of inspiration. For well over a century, Imperial College graduates have gone on to achieve great things. But moving forwards, remember, whilst now we stand on the shoulders of giants, in future years, yours will be the shoulders upon which others stand. Much like this hall, Imperial College is steeped with history and tradition. One such tradition is this day, Commemoration Day. In 1945, Their Majesties King George VI and Queen Elizabeth visited the college to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the foundation of the Royal College of Chemistry a forerunner of Imperial. Each year, we commemorate this event with today's assembly to serve as a mark of gratitude for all those who have helped the college and as a sign of personal rededication to the pursuit of knowledge in science and engineering and their application for the well-being of humanity. As an institution, we continue to reflect on our traditions and how they align with our values. This past year, we have rightly taken out of use our historic Latin motto, roughly translated as science, the scientific knowledge is the adornment and the protection of the empire. Though empire no more, it was more clear than ever over the past 18 months that science remains the adornment and the protection of all the people of the world. Let me conclude with one final thought. As you enter the world of work, there are many ends to which you could apply the things that you have learnt in your time at Imperial. Some would serve to advance the common good. Some might profit only yourself, and some might serve to enhance the suffering in the world. I would ask you to reflect on where you see your talents being applied and to keep in mind the words of King George on the college's first commemoration day. Regard your knowledge and your skill always in the light of a trust for the benefit of humanity, and thereby ensure, so far as in you lies, that science may never be put to uses which offend the higher conscience of mankind. It is with this in mind that I hope we all move forward. Remember the shoulders on which you stand and keep a clear eye on where you are going. Be innovative, make change, start something new, seek knowledge, but always for the betterment of humanity. Congratulations on all that you have achieved and best of luck with all that is to come. Chair, colleagues, distinguished honorees, graduates, and family and friends out there, 
It is my honour as the President of Imperial College London to welcome you to Commemoration Day 2021. First and foremost, graduates, congratulations. It is really wonderful to be here with you in person today. You have excelled, you have adapted, you worked hard, improvised and innovated through especially difficult times. You are talented scholars, inventors, entrepreneurs, musicians, dancers, actors, singers, athletes, and scientists. The support of your family and friends was essential during your time at Imperial. Let us take a moment to show our appreciation to them as they join us online. Our academics have shared their knowledge, sparked your curiosity, and broadened your horizons. They are distinguished and dedicated researchers and educators, the best in their fields. They, like you, adapted, improvised, and innovated. They went to great lengths to ensure that your education was the best it could be. They have shown you the importance of having high standards and dedication to purpose for everything you do. Let's thank them too. The saying, change is the only constant in life, is attributed to the Greek philosopher Heraclitus around 500 BC. We see the wisdom of these words in the profound changes of our individual routines and institutional policies brought about by the pandemic. The past few years have been difficult, but it is during difficult times we often learn very valuable lessons. We can use the lessons we have learned during the pandemic to help guide us going forward. The ability to manage change in your personal and professional lives is critical to your future success and happiness. You are equipped to adapt to new ways of doing things while keeping the best of the tried and tested ways of the past. You will view change not as an inconvenience, but as an opportunity to do things better. You will be flexible. As you navigate the future, here are three thoughts to keep top of mind. Keep priorities in perspective. Balance the difficult with the easy. Help one another navigate the future. So first, keep priorities in perspective. The pandemic heightened our sense of vulnerability. We reflected on how we use our time. We also took a hard look at our priorities. As circumstances change in your professional and personal lives, you will need to continually reevaluate your priorities. You must decide on the path that is best for you. You will have choices and wonderful opportunities to seize and risks to take. They, like you, will change over time. Stay true to your values while evaluating your priorities. You have shown that you are adaptable and your Imperial Foundation will help you have the confidence to change course as needed. Second, balance the difficult with the easy. Sometimes challenges seem insurmountable, be they challenges at home, at work, or in the world at large. When faced with big challenges, don't lose sight of the opportunities to address problems that are smaller in scale and complexity. Picking the low-hanging fruit helps build momentum, rewards successes, and provides confidence and a sense of accomplishment. You may be better able to face the difficult challenges ahead if you simultaneously navigate the easier problems while not losing sight of your priorities. And third, help one another to navigate the future. These past two years have changed the way we think about the future. Our outlook is shaped by our age, experiences, personality, 
financial status, health, culture, and other factors. You have been shaped by your time at Imperial, by your peers and your teachers, your mentors and your advisors. You have learned that sharing perspectives broadens understanding and helps develop a more informed and balanced approach to navigating the changes ahead. Stay connected to your Imperial community. They will help you adapt and cope with whatever the future brings. You will also be uplifted by the exciting things your Imperial College staff and students are doing. Take the time to follow the many wonderful ways our community is making a difference in the world. And by all means, share your stories with us and celebrate the accomplishments of your fellow alumni, the more than 220,000 graduates of this great institution who are indeed changing the world. This time of change is as exhilarating as it is unsettling. You have opportunities to seize and challenges to navigate. You have the ability to become leaders in this rapidly changing world. I know you will help make the world a better place. Again, congratulations. Thank you. President, I beg leave to present to those who have received awards within the Faculty of Natural Sciences. The names will be announced by Professor Oscar Says, the head of the Department of Chemistry, Professor Anne Dell, the head of the Department of Life Sciences, Dr. Christopher Holsworth, Principal Teaching Fellow of Mathematics, and Professor Michelle Doherty, head of the Department of Physics. Due to the large number of graduates being presented today, may I please ask you to reserve your applause to prize winners and until the end of each department. Faculty of Natural Sciences, Associates of the Royal College of Science and First Degree of the University, Bachelor of Science, Department of Chemistry. <coughs> Menes Basir. Mahima Begum. <coughs> Felix Benneman. Hajanu Ashikin Binti Abdul Zubir. Hannah Bukit. The ICBS Prize for the Best Management Performance on the Joint Honours Programme, Julia Casarano. <laughs> Bence Delosh. Leonardo de Moda Vaca. The HVA Bisco Prize in Inorganic Chemistry, Martin Eid. <laughs> Lazarus Isaias. Gatsby Tobias Dexter Fitzgerald. Simran Gill. The Department of Chemistry Prize for Outstanding Overall Performance, BSc, Gosian Fong. Ying Ho, Nutnicha Limbertun, Chichiao Nim, Annalise Isabella Perkins, Tamin Rahman, Sharifa Sheikh. Anjali Sushak. The Department of Chemistry Prize for Outstanding Over Performance, BSc, Amy Teen. <laughs> Heather Trent. <laughs> 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 
Action Wang. Susan Yetimish. The Department of Chemistry Prize for Outstanding Overall Performance BSc, Hal Zizang. <laughs> Jiawei Zhang. Master of Science, Department of Chemistry, Sharmin Niha Akbar. Subhashri Balaji. George Beckman. Anna Bell. The Department of Chemistry Prize for Excellence in Physical Chemistry, Charlie Brown. <laughs> Yin Lei Chan. The Department of Chemistry Organic Research Project Prize, Virginia Chiarenti. <laughs> Ji Rei Chu. Jaume Cos Gabada. Torin de Groot. Monalie de Parla. The Department of Chemistry Prize for Outstanding Overall Performance, MSI, Martin Ojbe Flarin Maiva. <laughs> Maria Santiana Foya. The Department of Chemistry Inorganic Research Project Prize, Benedetta Gaggio. Mirren Gami. Harry Gemmel. Alex Gosmith. Samuel Gubbins. Joseph Harris. Samuel Thomas Hopgood. Jonathan Hughes. The Department of Chemistry Physical Research Project Prize, Joshua Jackson. <laughs> Zoe Jeffers. Vaishnavi J. Yamohan. The Governor's M. Sai Prize in Chemistry, Mingxuan Jiang. The Department of Chemistry Prize for Outstanding Overall Performance, MSI, Xiu Yun Kok. <laughs> Ferdinand Grammer. Christos Kriegen. The Department of Chemistry Prize for Outstanding Overall Performance, MSI, Jay Yun Lee. Jialin Li. Ching Li. The John McCombie Memorial Prize, Andres Eduardo Martin Diaz. <laughs> the Joachim Steinke Prize for Excellence in Organic Chemistry, Isabel McTaggart. <laughs> Anuj Mehra. Dario Mongiardi. Ricardo Rocco Pierre. <laughs> Jack Powell. Josh Ray. Eddie Rong. Annie Rouse. Ujan Sal. The Francis Mikkelweight Prize, Bagnotis Salatas. <laughs> Carolina Sherbeni. Nora Siyad. The Department of Chemistry Prize for Outstanding Overall Performance, MSI, Benedict Sadler. The Roger Salei. Uh, Mate Toth. Evan Say. 
Nicholas Walker, Joe White, the Department of Chemistry Prize for Outstanding Overperformance, MSI, Francesca Whitman. <laughs> Joshua Wakenyo. Natan Yeshatila. The Alfred Bader Prize in Organic Chemistry, Abdul Hadi Safar. That now concludes the graduates of the Department of Chemistry. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. Bachelor of Science, Department of Life Sciences, Marcos Abreu Costa. Muhammad Ali Akbar, David Anthony. Ao Hao Q Edna. Audrey Ao Yong. Natalie Aush. Miguel Santiago Bailey Perez. Lili Baco. Simeon Benjamin Bancroft. Adriana Banducci Karp. Ninisha Anubuti Berman. Eve Barro. Marina Boruico. Sebastian Berger, Amber Baxter, Ian Clark Memorial Prize, Hiresh Baskia, Giordana Bianchi, Robin Blackwell, Raphael Boudet, Eurofins Foundation Undergraduate Prize, Lucia Bustamante Vizcara. <laughs> Hugh Cam. Pablo Carbajal Martin. Emily Carroll. Alexandra Kazaku. Niu Jung Chai. Anson Chan, Ingrid Chan, Louise Chandong, Zoe Chia, Huan Tong Chen, Si Feng Lucy Chen, Si Si Chen, April Cheng, Jediah. Chung, Justin Chang, Teresa Choi, Charmaine Chu, Hai Yong Chung, Felicity Church, Anchor Julia Chonka. Kevan Clark, Tara Clements, Marine Quapo, Ruben Calindras, Louise Cooper, Kerry Dalton. Nadia Davis. ICBS Prize for the Best Group Project on the Joint Honours Program, Felicite de Boucher. Victor de Boot. Benedetta Delia.
Leah Mary Lily Denoon, Juliet Deforge, Panis Dogate, Christian Donachy, Laura Diamond, Sasha Fagaholm, Shiyuan Shiyuan Esme Fan. Isabel Fisher, Orla Flanagan, Shivani Gangardia, Almudea Garcia Gomez Monadero, Laura Gagina, Aaron Gua. Oh. Uh, Emma G. Gima Reigns, Sanika Gupta, ICBS Prize for the Best Group Project on the Joint Honours Programme, Isabel Gutierrez Colama, <laughs> Harriet Harrier, Abby Sui Harper, Alexia. Hashem, Melanie He, Kai Yi Stephanie Ho, Wing Yu Ho, Chen Shang Huang, Rebecca Anna Ayanov Vitanov, Anna Eisenfeld. Karen Alexandra Irawan, Isra Jahan, Mariam Jallo, Jamie James, Duri Solan Jasinga, Maeve Johnston, Matilda Jones, June Mann Memorial Prize. Amber Khan, <laughs> Ina Kim, Jong Eun Kim, Su Jung Kim, Gabrielle Klimovitsky, Ella Klein, Emily Knight, Anastasia. Kolez Nikova, Eleni Konida, Ka Wai Ku, Dristi Lalwani, Sirima Laal Sinwatana, Rikin J. Lau, Charlotte Laurent, Maria Lee, Jing Wen Lei, Eurofins Foundation Undergraduate Prize, Ho Fung Leung, <laughs> Chin Wei Brian Leung, Hei Long Christopher Leung, Ivy Fan Lee, Xin Yi Lee. Eugene Lin, Julie Lin, Daniel Linnington, Ruon Yuan Leo, Paris Lockwood, Mark Lord, Sung Hian Ma, Ya Ma. Kestrel Mayo, Maya Matoga, Neve McCauley, Harry McDaid, Fergus Mackay, Fagia Maymood, Mihalina Mihalska, Branka Mitrick. 
Monami Miyamoto, Alisa Mogoyon Perez, Albert Morjone, Ruksha Murali, Laurent Bonomo Prize, Tanya Santosh Nandan, Petrara Newson, Man Yin Milani Ng, Chelsea Ann, Huong Jiang Nyan, Guo Hao Ni, Shea Noi Man, Hamish O'Hare, Chloe Sophia Palmer Chandler, Hayin Pan, Ilinka Petraskin, Thomas Llewellyn Pritchard, Anchita Puri, Yuya Ra, Sophia Ricomagno, Antoine Rombert, Theodora Andrea Rinzio, James Prize of the New Phytologist Trust, Clements Rodney, <laughs> Governor's BSc Prize in Biological Sciences, Harvey Rumble, <laughs> Yiva Shelkowska, Kim Ann Sander, Alexandra Scanlon, Constance Shishu, Anna Seidel, Maria Docamo Serpas Stop da Cunha, Leigh Eric Chen. Sarah Shi, Ben Shin, Elena Shmakova, Murray Prize in Physiology, Shreya Singhal, <laughs> Mina Siu, Caitlin Skelly, Holly Chuan Smith, Olivia Smith, ICBS Prize for the Best Group Project on the Joint Honours Programme, Emily Schnu. C. Ewitt Stickings Memorial Prize, Vera Sonseva. Atina Sultanian. Stephanie Stajkovic. Zoe Stamoulis. Johan Hiroto Stander. Lara Sterrett, Stephen Strawn, Sophie Sturmer, Ji Wen Swoon, Anna Sergina, Ellen Swedhang, Alison Hoi Yi Tam. Maya Aurelia Tanfeld. Governor's BSc Prize in Biochemistry Biotechnology, Matthew Tang. <laughs> Nephali Taravira. Alexander Taylor. Arvin Taylor. Ziwei Tio. Millie Thackeray. Nicholas Trotter, Paulina Urbana Vicuti, Henrik Falk, Alexander Walter, Clarice Wan, Zina Wang, Ewan Ward, James Oliver Harrison Warren. 
Sophie Way. Vita Welcome. Shi Wen. George Westwood. Francesca Wiggins. Eurofins Foundation Undergraduate Prize, Yvonne Winterborn. <laughs> Beloff Chain Prize, Wang Yui Wailan Wong. Darshan Wara. Janice Wu. Lily Bell Wyatt. Zi Xiang Xia. Xu Yi Xiu, Victoria Xu, Hao Jian Yang, Holly Yang, Xiao Xiao Yang, Lindsay Yang Sang, Chon Fei Yao. Eurofins Foundation Undergraduate Prize, Miki Yoniyama. <laughs> Chang Hyang Yoon. See you at Stickings Memorial Prize, ICBS Prize for the Best Group Project on the Joint Honours Programme, ICF Spy, Pr ICBS Prize for the Best Overall Performance on the Joint Honours Programme, Muhammad Akram Yusufsa. <laughs> Han Ching Yu, Yuan Hei Tung, Zai Zhao Cheng, Usmani Prize in Biotechnology, Cleo Meng Zhang, <laughs> Isabel Zhang, Ming Zhang, Wen Peng Zhang. Ju Jia Yi, Pusit Jit Jaruk, That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Life Sciences. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. Bachelor of Science, Department of Mathematics. Mule Youssef Aguza. Constantinos Anastasiu. Stelios Chrysanthos Atipa. Yanjat Bansal. Maria Bork. Ethan Chow. Jin Lei Chen. Francesca Danese. Max Davis. Mac Dedich. Matteo Maria Di Venti. Mei Cheng Du. Xingyu Du. Ayman Fadil. Chun Hei Fan. Tom Goucher. Benjamin Hardcastle. George Hilton. Jeremy Ryan Hausman. Sukmin Huang. Harshal Jane. Kevin Jaku. Kunmin Jang. Hyman Levy Memorial Prize, Yudza Jin. Christos Kalo Europolos. Timothy Kang. 
Kamil Kaiser. Michael Conn. Thomas Lackana. Lao Tin Wei. Man Hei Law. Li Dai Wei. Shri Lakala. Kiran Loy. Chuan Long Li. Zerkai Li. Han Yang Liu. Ijo Liu. Francisco Coco. Zerchi Liu. Si Cheng Lu. Yasin Mabruk. Anag Malik. Xiao Che Mok. Julian Mowat. Siddhartha Nath. Stefan Obada. Tensor Society Mathematics Prize, Ishan Peidungat. Governor's BSc Prize in Mathematics, Zheng Kai Pan. <laughs> Hongyi Pang. Kailan Peng. Ismail Riaki. Jeff Sang. Diogo Santos. Danny Shi. Shinrui Shi. Titus Staroles. Harry Daniel Thompson. Hermione Trenier. Alex Vermeulen. Junrui Wang. Junqian Wang. Xinyi Wang. Shui Bin Wu. Peiyu Xiong. Hongrui Yang. Yue Jia. Jia Qi Zhang. Xuan Jia Zhang. Yu Chen Zhang. Nan Zhou. Master of Science, Department of Mathematics. Luis Ramon Alonso Clavijo. Jacob Ash. Param Banudneya. Eric Bergquist. William Castles. Gautam Chowdhury. Yuhan Chen. Jonathan Chung. Hugo Chu. Petru Alexandru Kolutnak. Jasmine Lauren Daly. Niels Egink. Mihela Bianca Frunza. Michael Giblin. Antonio Matas Gill. Van Grayson. Yusen Guo. Asmat Habibullah. Stefan Sebastian Hales. Nicholas Hoare. Hu Jong He. 
Thomas Johnston. Jack Kennedy. Aspect Capital Prize, Governor's MSc Prize in Mathematics, Kin Chung Kenny Lau. <laughs> Jong Hyun Lee. Jun Wei Lee. Juliette Lamazan. Derek Moore Memorial Prize, Lorenzo Lucchese. <laughs> Elliot McNeil. Institute of Mathematics and its Applications Prize, Nicholas Manrique. <laughs> Diego Martin Duro. Andrew Melville. Jack Miller. Aspect Capital Prize, Samuel Munoz Echanith. <laughs> Silke Nodwa. Henry Antonio Palaschiano. <laughs> Shivan Palmer. Abra Foplunka. Marwan Riach. Joshua Rodriguez Broadbent. Ignacio Sacristan Barba. Rohan Sandu, <laughs> Nithasan Sayalingam, Lucas Stephen Spencer, <laughs> Jin Su, Andreas Swadlo, <laughs> Guglielmo Terralo. Filippo Tonchi Ottieri della Sierra. Ken Allen Prize, William Turner. <laughs> Sarah Vallejo Mengod. Chi Chuan Wang. Ying Yi Wang. Wang Jie. Leon Wu. Julian Mateusz Bukowski. That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Mathematics. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. Bachelor of Science and Department of Physics. Emmanuel Oluwada Lola Aduwomi. Stefan Imet. Brody Allen. Thomas Andrews. Ahana Banerjee, Samuel Bennett, Avinash Bhati, Amol Bhutani, Sandeep Burji, Tani Bili. David Smith Prize, Medical MRI and Ultrasound, Benjamin Bremner. John Raymond Chandrasigara. Nibiel Chaduri. Sandy Choka. Simran Chowdhury. Alessandro Corbin. Anna Susan Douglas. Lachlan Albinga Bo. Lukes Fernandez. Sofia Gonzalez Garcia. Ben Hall. Richard Alexander Harper. 
Timothy Heitman, Alex Louis Henderson, Alex Hodges, Pei Yan Hu, Maeve Miriam Hutchinson, Edward Jenks, Isabel Jones, Daniel Dalskor Jonsson, Rahima Kanon, Paul Kripa, Gohesh Kumaran, Darren Lian Tsu Young. Cameron James Mills, James Mill, Jan Naren, Tom Nottingham, Iwona Pinzari, Michelle Redmond. Fabio Ribeiro Brady, Angus Robertson, William Roth, Governor's BSc Prize in Physics, Leon Shi, Ken Allen Prize, Vedant Bashi. Ken Allen Prize, Barboro Volikova. <laughs> Catherine Whitby. Christopher Wilkin. Isadora Zampol. J. Zhuyong Jo. Kushan Edori Singe. Natalie Molika Podder. Master of Science, Department of Physics, Imran Eshkadar bin Abdurrahman. <laughs> Tiwafil Alexandrov. Numan Al Tuf. Sadiq Amir. Cameron Anderson, Charlotte Arand, Archie Atkinson, Farun Adtharfu, James Beaumont, Erwinus Bernu Tetchus, Hamza Ab Al Hawab. Bre Joanna Brown, Nicholas Brown, James Calder, Harvey Chow, Yulin Chen, James Chen. Stanley Ho Yin Chung, Sachin Chopra, Dimitri Chi Ilecki, Kingsley Thomas Colley, James Crawford, Jesse Cross. Shona Genevieve Curtis Walcott. Jacob Davies. Benyam Dijen. Krishiv Desai. Vidin Dewan. Rachel Diamond. 
Abdus Salam Undergraduate Prize, Governor's MSI Prize in Physics, Jakub Dranchevsky. <laughs> Callum Duffy. Georgie Foote. Idoya Garin Fernandez. Daniel James Gillers. Gainardi Gurbun. Rahul Gupta. Adonesh Haji Ona. Sinyu Han. Louis Hex. Oscar Hickman. Annabelle Kylie He. Catherine Hoog. Jacob Holleran. Adam Housby. Madeline Hughes. Jacob Hughes Hallett. Marvin Hugh. Jordan Ignatov. Kunal Jardov. Joshua Jung Lee Jones. Charles Christian Kerwin. Theo Keserman. Nusim Khan. Tara Karadmat. Kim Hyun Ta. Si Woo Kim. Dakshish Kolalji. Bartosz Krauchek. Jamie Leopard. Bin Sing Lee. Yi Wen Lim. Min Ling. Kia Logan. Sean Ming An Lu. Daniel Loughran. Gabriel Giuseppe Mahesson. Peter Milquick. Song Su Moon. Anna Mossa. Lakshi Mahun the Koma. CMS Prize for Particle Physics, Hans Mu Nisami. Claudia Mooney, Calendar Prize, Genderman Munst, Aidan Orofeche, Shrey Putel, CMS Prize for Particle Physics, George Piper, Alicia Polanska, Maxim Ramsey King. Sachin Rainyan. Chantro Mela Rasa. Sintiye Rodok Niti. Said Tsane. Jonas Schultz, Bavara Semenova, Catherine Sefton, Oma Sharpo, Dylan Lewis Shepherd, Mika Marisol Smith. 
Min Ying Song, Georgina Stroud, Paul Fagani, Xavier Van Gogh, Sachin Vasudevan, Morgan Wardle, Matthew Watkins, Oliver Weir, Luana Sophia Maria Williams, Odysseus Williams, Callum Benjamin Wincott, Jack Window, Lisa Winkler, Leon Wise, Maria Wood, Sydney Wu, Ke Chi Yong, Zhao Zidane, Olin Kevin Robinson, Sack Lane Child Harry, That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Physics and the Faculty of Natural Sciences. Please join me in a round of applause congratulating the graduating class.
presentation of the Outstanding Student Achievement Award. Mr. Michael Conn. During his time at Imperial College London, Mr. Michael Conn has been a top student. As of today, a graduate of the Department of Mathematics at Imperial, he was twice on the Dean's List, won a first year project prize and a Europe prize. He is a gifted musician and was awarded an Ash Scholarship due to his achievements as a French horn player. He plays for the Imperial College Symphony Orchestra and has performed several times in the highly regarded Imperial Lunchtime Concerts. During his time at Imperial, he also founded and conducts the Concertino Orchestra. Apart from his excellent academic and musical achievements, Mr. Khan has also made outstanding contributions to the college, most recently as captain of the University Challenge team, where he contributed significantly to the success in reaching the semi-finals. He was elected as undergraduate council representative for the Faculty of Natural Sciences and to the Sustainability and Services Board, during which time he passed a major paper on allergen labelling in union services and spearheaded a student survey on online assessments. During COVID-19, he has been an online peer mentor supporting first-year students through weekly online tutorials. President, I present to you this worthy winner of the Outstanding Student Achievement Award. presentation of the President's Medal. Lab in a Box. The President's Medal for supporting the student experience. Supporting students through the COVID-19 pandemic, Lab in a Box is an innovative initiative by the college's Department of Physics to provide hundreds of bespoke, portable labs in boxes to undergraduate students across the globe. Led and conceived by Graham Axtell, Harish Dukdorda, Lee Parker, Ivan Hamida Estenel and Rob Whisker, the programme has been a huge success. The Lab in a Box programme brought together students, academics and technicians to devise a way to transform bulky experiments into portable labs, which could be mailed to first year undergraduate students who are unable to attend campus during the pandemic. The kits covered 10 experiments across three year groups and were redesigned to optimise them for a remote setting, maintaining key elements and learning outcomes. The kits were further supported by online introductions and demonstrations alongside drop-in support sessions. The Lab in the Box programme has been very positively received by students who report that they have gained the same knowledge and skills as a student physically on campus and in a real laboratory. I therefore invite you, President, to award the Lab in a Box team a President's Medal in recognition of their outstanding contribution to supporting the student experience and to Imperial College London. Presentation of the Imperial College Medal. Professor Andell.
currently Head of Department of Life Sciences at Imperial College London. Professor Anne Dell's pioneering research and excellence in undergraduate teaching has had a positive impact on the college for more than four decades. A biochemist studying the role of sugars in human health and disease, Professor Dell's work on the application of mass spectrometry to complex biomedical problems in the field of carbohydrate biochemistry has led to groundbreaking discoveries for fertilization and microbial pathogenesis. This includes better understanding of how pathogens camouflage themselves against the immune system and how developing fetuses avoid being rejected by the body. Professor Dell held a prestigious BBSRC professorial fellowship 2001 to 2007 and in 2004 established, established Glycotrix, an imperial research center that explores biomedical applications of glycobiology. Professor Dell was elected to the Fellowship of the Royal Society in 2002 and to the Fellowship of the Academy of Medical Sciences in 2008. In 2009, she was awarded a CBE in recognition of her services to science. I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by the Council, to award Professor Anne Dell an Imperial College Medal in recognition of her outstanding contribution to the life and work of Imperial College London. presentation of the honorary graduate, Professor Howard R. Morris. Known for his pioneering work in biomolecular mass spectrometry, we're honored today to recognize the achievements of Professor Howard R. Morris. After gaining a PhD in biophysics from the University of Leeds in 1970, Professor Morris went on to complete postdoctoral work at the University of Cambridge, after which he joined the staff of the MRC Laboratory of Molecular Biology. In 1975, Professor Morris came to Imperial College London as a lecturer in biochemistry and is currently Emeritus Professor of Biological Chemistry and a senior research investigator. Appointed Professor of Biological Chemistry in 1980, between 1985 and 1988, Professor Morris was head of the Department of Biochemistry and joint head of Life Sciences at Imperial. He has held visiting professorships throughout his career around the world and is the co-author of some 430 peer-reviewed publications. Professor Morris has also been influential in industry, founding, in 1979, the multinational M-Scan group of companies, a mass spectrometry consultancy that offered specialist analytical services to the pharmaceutical, biotechnology, and petroleum industries. He went on, in 2014, to found BioPharmaSpec, which offers discovery and preclinical biopharmaceutical services. Appointed a fellow of the Royal Society in 1988, Professor Morris has received numerous other honors and awards, including the Royal Medal and Prize for Interdisciplinary Sciences from the Royal Society in 2014. I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by Council, to award Professor Howard R. Morris an honorary degree Doctor of Science in recognition of his contribution to the field of biotechnology. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> I'm thrilled to be with you today to celebrate your graduation and the onward journey of this wonderful academic institution. 
This is actually my first live Imperial graduation, but I've always been hugely impressed by Imperial and its people. The chance to support so many outstanding thinkers and innovators is what brought me here. And what a time to start. This hasn't been the 2020 or 2021 any of us planned, and perhaps nobody knows this more than you. But here we are, learning, changing, succeeding together. I take great inspiration and comfort from what you, our graduating students, have achieved in getting here, and I'm so excited to hear in the future what you'll be doing next. You can be sure that Imperial will go from strength to strength. International ratings show us consistently at number seven or number eight in the world, and the Times has just named us the top UK university. Imperial is a fantastic and awesome institution. Now, I imagine you may be feeling apprehension at your next steps. We're living in a different world, it's true. The future is a challenging and changing one, but it's one full of opportunities, some well-established, but also completely new ones for you to venture out into. In getting to this point, you've proven yourselves robust, talented, motivated individuals who are poised to grasp these opportunities. I believe that you know success comes best to those who have a burning desire to make things happen, the determination to achieve, and the interpersonal skills to bring people together, because we can normally do more together than we can individually. And from what I've seen with my own eyes at Imperial and the achievements that I've heard about today, I know you have those qualities and you will go on to make great and positive changes in the world. And hopefully, make the world a better place. So, you know, do think as you think about your future, about what you can do to make this world we live in with all of its challenges a better place for, for, for many, many people. And nobody is better placed than people trained in science, I think, to be able to understand how best to go about defining and solving the world's problems. But please know this is not goodbye. Far from it, instead it's welcome. Welcome to the next chapter of your lives, but also welcome to the worldwide network of Imperial alumni of which you are now a vital part. We will be here for you as you go on to exciting careers, following your progress, supporting you, celebrating you every step of the way. So please do stay in touch. Tell us what you're doing. You're very much members of the Imperial family, and we can't wait to see what you will actually do. Now it's my responsibility to bring these proceedings to a close in a few moments. And I'd like to ask you in a moment just now for an enormous round of applause for all of those who've worked so hard to make this ceremony a success and to make you successful. Please, please demonstrate your thanks to all concerned. So almost finally, that was pretty good by the way, but I'm sure you can do better. Almost finally, and I'd like you to make a real noise now, let's thank our families, our mothers and fathers and brothers and sisters, your children if you have them and friends, who've been there and have supported you when you've needed them. I remember the sacrifices my parents made to enable me to be the first member of my family to go to university, and I'm sure many of you have had a huge amount of support from your families too. So please, let's really hear it for all of our families. That was awesome, and please go home and tell your families, you know, just how much you appreciate their support. Now, we're almost at a close, but I've got to ask you not to go out of here, to go out and celebrate and have fun, because really graduations really only start when you leave this hall. Um, 
But please wait until we have the national anthem and then for the uh, academic procession off. And then please go out, have a fabulous time, and really enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you all very, very much.